Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a, hopefully a quick picture. <laughs> I'm going to be doing another one for coloring checklist challenge number two from Sammy. And uh, I'll leave a link down below so if you wanted to follow along with these things. My checklist here today is going to be... Oh, show you the book. How's that? Realistic Partrix Grayscale Coloring from Christine Karen. Okay, I have a piece of plastic behind here because we are going to get out the checklist here for you. I have to find it. Um, okay, my fingers can't feel the last page or it's still under the book. <laughs> here we go. I'm not going to close my eyes in any of these pictures, so I'm probably going to close that one out. Um, let's see, I think it's on this one, or this one. Markers, it's got a little dot on it somewhere. Do do Here, color a page with marker base and uh, shade in with pencil. So we're going to mark that off. Let's use a different color highlighter here. Okay, so we're going to color this page in Copics markers and then I'm going to put pencil on top because it's, uh, I, I don't know how to do it all in markers. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else that I can do. It's not a Dallas Brad, it's not a mermaid. I'm not going to close my eyes because I don't want to mess up my books. It would have to be a close my eyes on something that I printed out. That would probably work. Um, well, I could do her hair in pastel colors, maybe. That's a nice light color pink in this set. Obviously, we've got a marker here. It's their, their markers. <laughs> so, yeah. If I do any more, I'll check them off later. Okay, just stick that back in its little box. If you're wondering what I'm using, they're Zebra Midliners. Um, you can pick them up on Amazon. I don't know, I bought them umpteen years ago, so I have no idea if they're still available. <laughs> Did it when I was doing a bunch of coloring um, in my planners. Okay, so markers. Get them out here. So we're going to start with the very light color because why not? This is E000. It is called Pale Fruit Pink. This is the um, skin color set. So we're just going to go here and put the light color down. Let's see how this works. <laughs> A little squeaky. I've only used these once before, so. There we go. Light base. Pretty sure that's all over her skin. I don't know. Did I not get it over here? Just kind of go over it again. Just to make sure it's on the whole thing. She doesn't even have a neck, so I don't even have to worry about that. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, next one is E double O, and it is called Cotton Pearl. So we can add some of that in there. Let's 
So how are you all doing? Hope you're all well. This one you can see a lot bit more. Okay. I have a hard time getting these caps back on these things. Is there a secret I don't know about? <laughs> okay, we're just going to go back in here and kind of blend that out a little bit, hopefully. we got we have this pinky color and we'll put that like around her cheek and her eye here be on the tip of her nose and on her lips Wow. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't look fun. I'm going to put it on the other end of this and see if we can blend that out a little bit. This is uh, barely beige. We'll try the other side of that. the lighter color. Maybe a bit darker. Mm -hmm. Dark tan. We're going to put a little of that up here. this one copper no idea might as well use them all right it's a little darker still
Okay, I didn't just go over everything with the triple zero thingy bopper. I don't think I'll let it dry and see what all this looks like. <laughs> Should have probably darkened some of that too. And blend that right into the hair. Okay. Like I said, we're going to let that dry. That is an ink base. Or marker base, I should say. Just light to medium and then... I mean, we used all the colors and then just went over it again with all the light stuff. And I'm going to pull out, oh, I don't know, um, some probably luminance pencils. Uh, I just have to figure out which ones the luminance are in, pencil case wise. Uh, I think they're in this one. heavy. <laughs> okay. And we'll find some skin colors in here. And make sure that's dry. Just gonna dry it on both sides of the paper. There we go. Now we'll find some pencils. I have no idea the hell, what kind of pencils to pull out here. We'll do a pink color. This looks like a skin color. <laughs> and this one, and this one, and this one, and who knows. They, well, these two look a little yellow. Okay, um, let's see, what are you? All right, we'll just try these and see what we got. Still gonna keep the paper underneath there. I'm gonna turn it a little bit. And we'll bring it down just a little bit closer here. Because these are going to be hard to read. Okay, this is uh, light flesh 10%, 142. I'm going to check that out here. We got a little extra dark there. Maybe we'll give her freckles. <laughs> so how are you all doing? Did I ask that already? If I didn't, I'm sorry. If I did and I'm asking again, I'm also sorry. <laughs> We've got a cooler day today, which is really nice. Oh, that's a nicer color. This one is, oh boy, this is a red, so we don't want to use that yet. Um, what are you? A burnt ochre at 50%.
I'm sorry, I get really quiet when I'm doing uh, skin, especially since I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Uh, this is brown ochre, 50%. Let's see what color that goes down as. Kind of a yellower color. Just using this very lightly. Uh, this one is uh, Dark Flesh 40%. Oops, nothing fell down over there. Again, sorry for being quiet. <laughs> oh, well, this one's a um, light fast pencil. It doesn't even belong in the part of the set. So let's dig it back over there. Um, I'm going to bring in a little bit of uh, burnt sienna, 10%. This is a really scratchy pencil. Uh, try that. Nope, just gonna be scratchy. Okay, scratchy pencil can go away. <laughs> Let's see. We are of a pink. Tone it down with some blue or some purple. I don't know how much blue I want to get. Ouch. <laughs> Pencils are attacking me. Um, about this purple, oh, it's pretty a color. This is uh, ultramarine violet. And I'm gonna just 
bring in a little of that. Okay, then we go back in with our first color, if I can find it. It's the red we don't want to use. <laughs> um, somewhere in here with a light flesh color. Light flesh, 10%. bring in, <clears throat> excuse me, the buff titanium, and that's 801. Make sure her tip is clean on that. And we're just going to blend in some of this. Lighten up her cheek a little. Lighten up in this area. Soften everything up, hopefully. A little more work right there on that cheek. Okay. <sighs> we have the other checklist of the odd colored hair, but we're going to work on our eye here first. We're going to get a little shadow in the whites here. I'm just going to use the um, light cobalt blue is what I brought out here. And we're just going to get a little blue in there. And we 
we'll have to decide on her color of eyes. Why don't we make them... Oh, I don't know. We're going to make her hair kind of a odd color. So I don't even know what color odd is nowadays. <laughs> Everybody's got all sorts of different colors of hair. Um, we'll give her blue eyes, I guess. Uh, blue, we've got that blue. And I need kind of a greenish color. This one will work. And maybe a shot of yellow. Okay, so we have... Oh boy. Blue de mines. <laughs> Mimes? Mimes? It's 135. <laughs> and I have a barrel green, uh, 214. And we have bismuth yellow, 810. We're going to start with the blue. And we're going to go up at the top up here. Okay, then we're going to go in with the barrel green. Then we're going to put in a little tiny bit of yellow, which is the bismuth. in with the barrel green and then back in with the dark blue color okay A little bit of the buff titanium and whiten this part of the eye a little bit more. The eyelid watermark line. Okay, um, we'll throw in some eyelashes. I need a darker brown. Not a red, a brown. <laughs> Where's a brown? Okay, then we'll just go in with the um, black and give her some eyelashes. Darken that eyelid a little bit. Darken her pupil here. And some of that uh, dark flesh, 40%, and I want a sharp point on that. Going 
going to go right down the watermark on her eye here. more blue right on the corners. Okay. Now we gotta do her hair. Maybe a little color on her lips when we're done with her hair. I have... Hmm. No idea what to do with her hair. I can do the bottom kind of pink. We can give her pink hair. So we're going to pull out this pink highlighter. Soft, kind of a bubblegum pink color. I'm just going to throw some color in here. We can see this, right? Putting it in the darkest areas. We'll have to go over this with a lot of color. <laughs> visible on the other side, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Something like that. Okay, then we're going to find a pink in here. What do we have pink-wise? Violet pink. That will work. We'll use a little of that in here. Just give it a little extra. texture in the color here.
Okay. Let's see what else we can pile in there. Anthrodone pink. Uh, this is number 571. Take a line here and press really hard and bring it down her face. Over here also. And then just throw that color in there. This is a nice bright color. What is this one? Purplish, purplish red. <laughs> Put that in where it's nice and dark. Gonna bring in a little bit of a distress ink in that. What did I do with those? We have two pinks in here. So we'll see what we can do. We have gonna find it. No, no, Dale. Bummer. It dropped. <laughs> I'll have to pick it up. We have that one is a nice pink. I'm going to add some of that in. Just double checking, make sure that ink pad did not open when it hit the ground. I'm just going to ink it on one end. This is a watercolor um, picture, by the way, <laughs> if you're wondering why it's all blocky like that. So I'm just going to bring that pink softly into the hair here. Go where it's darkest first and then just pull it down. Use that corner to uh, do any edge work that you want. Get it on that Pull it down, pull that up, cross your face, and just a little bit up there. It's 
a little more right up there. Put some in our cheek here, both sides. Okay. We need to give her eyebrows because I did not do that. I need a brownish color. And burnt ochre, I guess, would be okay. Just darken those up. I may go in with black on these. Dark brown or something. We've got some burnt sienna. Where's black? Where's black? I had black out. Are you black? Yes, you are. Okay. the background. We're going to do that in ink too. And I think I'll use a little purple oxide to go with her hair and the blue in her eyes. I need a new ink pad. Um, doo -doo -doo. Here we go. This one goes with that one. Boom. Some on there. I'm using the uh, plastic pad that I have underneath the uh, page just to work that ink into the pad here. So we don't get big splotches. We're just going to go around and put that on the gray areas. It splotches out into kind of watercolor effect out there. Then I'm going to bring in a little of a blue color. Um, what do we got? Broken China. I'm just going to use the other side of this. If I can get the open. My hands just are not working today. We're going to put the blue out and blend the ink into the other color. Okay, the um, oxide is not dry sits on top of the paper for a while so you can blend these two colors in pretty easily together.
And there we go. Have no idea how long that was, but I did a kind of a fun little picture. I'm going to take some of that, oh, that dark brown we used, um, and throw in some dark brown hair in here too. Just a touch. Just go back in with your highlighter. Maybe there's just some little strands floating around. There we go. If you want, you can always add in a little Posca. If I can find the Posca. And add in a little white hairs too. that are a little wild out here. And you can touch up those little corners with either the highlighter
or pencil, whichever you decide to do. I think she looks pretty good considering. <laughs> I think we did a 53 minute video, so there we are. I hope you guys enjoyed. Darken that up just a little bit. Kind of give her some lip marks there. We can put a tiny bit of pink in there. What do we got? The Quinothridone pink. And if you want to match her hair color, she's young gal, she can have a little bright pink in there. Boom. So that'll be it for me today. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye now.